The study of immune system is fascinating but very complicated. In light of COVID-19, let me explain what happens when someone's infected. And I've tried to simplify as much as I could, but please bear with me. Like I said, it's very complicated. So there are three phases. The first phase begins as soon as the virus gets into the airways. When cells sense bacteria or virus-like molecules, they produce proteins called cytokines. These cytokines then activate an army of white blood cells, which then go and digest these viruses. Some cytokines prevent viruses from reproducing, and all this leads to inflammation. So fever, body aches, etc. happens because of this. This initial set of events is part of what's called the innate immune system. It's quick and it occurs within minutes. Now, while all this fighting is going on, cells called messenger cells grab small fragments of these viruses and carry them to lymph nodes where highly specialized white blood cells called T cells are waiting. For any new virus, you probably have a T cell somewhere that could theoretically fight it. Your body just has to find and mobilize that cell. Picture the lymph node as a room full of soldiers. The messenger cell bursts in with a photo showing it to the um, soldiers and asking them, is this your guy, is this your guy? When a match is found, the relevant cell clones itself into an army which marches off to the airways. Sounds like a sci-fi movie, right? Some T cells are killer cells which blow up the infected respiratory cells in which viruses are hiding. Others are helper cells. These are helper T cells. They then activate the B cells that produce antibodies. Both T cells and antibodies are part of adaptive immune system. So we talked about innate immune system earlier. This is adaptive immune system. This branch is more precise than the innate branch, but much slower. After the virus is cleared, most of the T cell and B cell forces die off, but a small fraction remains patrolling your bloodstream. This is the third and the final phase of immune system, immune response. Um, and if the same virus attacks again, these memory cells can spring into action and launch the adaptive branch of the immune system. <laughs> Hope you're still watching. I know it was a lot, but very necessary to create a basic understanding of how the immune system works. Boost your immune system. This is something we've been reading and hearing a lot lately. There are several products on the market claiming to boost um, your immune system by this, the, by this drink, by that supplement and so on. Now the question is, can the immune system really be boosted? Well, we'll find that out in our next video. Stay pretty healthy, stay safe.